sometimes your SDL files might be poor quality. Now I use Netfabs Basics to check out my files. Is Netfab Basics or Basic? I'm not sure if this is still available actually. And as you see, it's got a red triangle up there as a problem. So I can click on repair up here. I'm just going to do this quick. Do automatic repair. Yes. And you might see a bar graph going along the bottom there. Wait until that is finished. It'll take a few seconds. Could take a while, depending on how bad the file is. Apply repair. Remove the old part. And even though it's been repaired, you see it's still got this warning error. Now I can look around it, I think. And normally it might show some bad parts in red. But as a quick look, I'm spending a lifetime here. I can't see any like red parts, okay? So I'm going to use a completely different piece of software to sort this out. So let me close this. We don't want to save that. When it says save here, it means the project file, by the way. If you want to save the actual parts, you need to go here and do export. It's still got false, so we don't want to be doing that. So I'm going to close this. Don't want the project. So I'm going to use Mesh Mixer here. I'm going to open that. That's just because I've been. I'm going to open it and then I'm going to do import. This is the poor quality file there. This is one I've already fixed here using this method. Open it. Now it can take quite a bit of time to import depending on how complex your files are. So I'm going to pause the video a bit here. And I'll come back when it's finished importing the file. Okay, it's finished importing. It's sort of upside down. I don't know why, probably because I've been mucking about. Sometimes it might appear out of line. Anyway, you need to go to analyze here. See, analyze there. Click on that. Then you've got inspector up here. Click on that. Might take a few moments, like that took a few moments to do anything. And it's got auto repair all here. Now we can adjust some settings here. Let's do auto repair all. Now this can again take a bit of time. I think these like purple arrows here actually point to bad parts in the file. But I found just on the auto repair is pretty good. So again, and it gives us an idea of how many triangles and such like bottom right here. I'm not sure what this is. I think that's something else. I don't know that message up there. But basically we just wait until it's finished. I'm going to pause the camera again, I think, because this can take quite a few minutes. Again, depending on how big and how complex your SDL file is, possibly how many errors. Oh, well, actually, it's just finished there, so I'm going to click Done. And then I'm going to go to File, and we need to find Export, Export there. I'm going to change this. I'm going to put number two on it, do save. So that's that file saved. That's a project file. I'm going to not bother saving that. So it's the one with the two on. That's the one that's just been saved here. Put this into Netfabs as a check. And you see there's no red triangle. Now my orientation of this file is all over the place but if it change you know you can change your orientation to suit you but there's no red triangle there so it's implying there's no errors with that file so that's an 
pretty straightforward, easy fix. I'll put some other links down below to some other repairs methods I sometimes use as well.